Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Kimmy. Today we are doing a home project right here. This little wall behind my deep freezer. We're going to do a sponge crank. I got these at, oh, Family Dollar is where I grabbed this. They have the texture I'm going for with the holes in there. So this should be a fun project, but it is going to be like a trial project. If for some reason we don't like the outcome, we can always just paint over it um, a different color. So that's what's good about paint is you can try things and if it doesn't work out, you can do something different. So we're going to go with the original plan. We're going to do pink and blue sponge. So it's going to be like a multicolor. One of you asked me, are you worried about it turning purple? So I'm assuming that it's not going to turn purple because I have to let the one coat dry completely before I go in with the second color. So they shouldn't, they shouldn't really affect each other too much. If it was wet, then I'm sure we would have a little run-ins with some colors blending together. Here's the wall that I'm talking about. I would just like to separate that white from this white and I'm going to leave the trim white of course and I have to keep this plugged in so we're just going to work with the space we got. Alright let's do this and as with all of the projects that I do this is just something that I wanted to do in our home. Um, it is not me saying that you need to go out and do this in yours. I'm also not a professional. I'm just a girl having fun and happens to be filming it. Um, so if anything, this is just entertainment purposes for y'all. But with that disclaimer out of the way, I am just going with it. Using the sponge, I soaked it and then I kind of dabbed it off that way there wasn't be too much on it also um, I would recommend using a much thicker sponge that way you have something to hold on to on the sides without getting paint on your hands if I had thought about it I would have gotten sponges like three times this size So this year I really wanted to add color into our home. So the colors that I've picked out are this pink. 
I've also picked out the storm cloud blue, which y'all will see later on in this video, sage green, and then gold and silver accents. So I even have thought to paint my appliances. They have appliance paint and I'm happy with the refrigerator, but I do want to do something with our black appliances some of them may be a little bit difficult to work with because they're like an ice machine a microwave but also if i'm not able to paint those appliances i should be able to wrap them in some sort of peel and stick that is made for the specific appliance so that's definitely something i'm going to be looking into it's going to be a lot cheaper than just replacing all the black appliances with white ones or silver ones so that is something that i want to do um something else i want to do is instead of buying a small sectional for the living room i found these chair covers and they had a love seat cover on amazon that looked to be really good quality they seem to sell a lot each month and they had good reviews so once i get paid that is i'm gonna be buying those like immediately um in a couple of weeks i'm very excited to do an updated like living room refresh where we put all those covers on and see how it brightens up the living room and how that kind of blends in with the kitchen because right now it is looking like the kitchen does not look the same as the living room but we're going to get there and we're going to make everything go together i promise y'all there is a method to my madness i have a vision and Throughout the years, I have always had these ideas to do things, and then I just talked myself out of it. So this year, I just went tunnel vision, like I'm not listening to um, anyone else that's trying to hold me back. I'm just going in two, two feet forward and just doing the thing. So that's what I want to encourage y'all to do with life in general. Life is so short and you only get one life to live please do not spend the rest of your life living it for other people or for what you think other people want out of you please live your life for you and do what you want to do the world was in the life you never could offer even if you never flown before you can take a chance and try once more so all right the pink is done i've got to let it dry and then we can go in with the other color Alright, this is completely dry. It's been a couple of hours. I just spent time reading a book. Um, so now we're going to do the blue color. It's what y'all can see in the living room right there. And then I have it right here. And I have just enough to do this project. So if you are new here, it is the storm cloud blue. So that will help, uh, help um, kind of neutralize this a little bit like blend things make it more subtle and my hope is that it just pulls in the pink from there and the blue from here and just brings everything together Let your worries weigh you down 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 you can still take above 
In that book I said I was reading earlier, it was about mental science, and the first chapter was about um, spirit versus matter. Basically, that you can't have um, one without the other. So we have our physical body, um, but and it's supported by our spiritual body. Now, not everybody believes that there is a spirit, but there's definitely, you can agree that there's definitely a soul, like a personality, character, all those things that build a person. And that's much more than what you see on the surface. So the reason why I'm sharing this is because he also said that these creative thoughts that we have, these are developed by God. Like God gives us this creativeness to go out and use our hands and do things with our hands. And even in the Bible, it says not to have idle hands, like always be doing something. And it just reminds me that if we don't do the things that we are being called to do someone else is going to do it so just again like don't let life pass you by if there's things that have been on your heart that you've wanted to do and you just keep putting them off i encourage you to give them a shot and just go for it because you can't mess it up like you're gonna try things you may it may be that you were meant to try it so you know that you can do things and then just easily go back over and do them again if you don't like how it turns out. But always at least try because if you don't try, you'll never know and you don't want to live with regret of not trying something new. All right, so it's been a few hours since I actually did this project. So my reaction now is going to be a little bit different than my instant reaction. But my reaction now is I like how this wall added so much dimension and shape to the interior. Because before, when everything was white, it just looked flat. You could see, obviously, where the different walls were. But everything kind of just muted in together. And now, since this wall is an accent wall, you can see how tall it is, the angles, the lines, all of that. Not to mention the texture, which I just am starting to really appreciate. Anytime you introduce a new color to your home, you're going to have this like stark reaction because it's different and you have to get used to it. So if you do a project like this, I would say even just give yourself a few hours to step away from it and then come back and see if you have changed your thoughts at all. Because just like the island, um, at first I was like, whoa, this is really pink. Um, after that night, I, every day, I'm just like, I love the pink under there. It looks so cute. Um, and especially like the pink door uh, in my laundry area. Every time I walk through there, I look at that pink door and I just love it. So, um, yeah, everything is worth trying because now I know this was worth doing. And I would have just kept putting it off and not doing it out of fear. And I just 
did it anyways and I really like how it ended up. Alright, here's what the wall looks like, all sponged up. This is what it looks like with the deep freezer back in front of it, which I already like better. And one of you suggested getting some shelves, like floating shelves, to put up, up there as well. And I do want to do that. My goodness! <laughs> I do want to do that too um so the paint is drying it's still wet so it might change color just a little bit it'll probably get a little bit brighter so um once it's completely dry i'll show you all another clip but it did do what i was wanting it to do so i see the pink and then i see where it's pulling in the blue and one of you was also concerned about it turning purple but since we waited for the first coat to dry I don't see any kind of purple on here I've never sponged a wall before so um, I don't know how I did <laughs> but it's fun it's cute I don't know how long it's gonna last but y'all can leave your opinions down below good and bad it's all fun with me um, so yeah that's how it looks now. All right, I also just decluttered the top of my fridge and somehow that made me like it more. Just, I feel like it's really busy right now, but that is the same way I felt when I did the kitchen island, painted it pink and now I love it. So I feel like this could grow on me. Girls are wild. I'm cooking breakfast right now. We're having um, breakfast for dinner. Biscuits. This is chorizo. We're going to make gravy. And <laughs> it's a rainy day. So they've been cooped up. Um, eggs. And we have tortilla shells. So a big breakfast because this is the first meal of the day and the only meal. <laughs> I put one of my little bunny friends over there and I think that's so cute. <laughs> I just uh, snuck him away from that door, which I may put him back. I just wanted to see what it looked like with something in front of it. But um, it's pretty much dry now, so that's what it looks like. I was telling Aaron that the lighting in this room is yellow. So if we get a white light for this room, then the door will look more pink than peachy colored. And um, same for in here. We have a, this one's a yellow light and this one's the white light. It does make a pretty big difference. Um, I like the warm light for when I'm not filming, but for filming it definitely helps to have these bright ones. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see y'all back here tomorrow for another one. Bye.